Hello there, Laura. Hello. How are you feeling now? Better? Yes. Yes, thank you. This is for you. A little dandelion wine. Thank you. Drink it, but don't get drunk. <laughs> Where shall I set the candles? Oh. Oh, anywhere. How about here on the floor? Any objections? No. I'll spread a newspaper under and catch the drippings. I like to sit on the floor. Mind if I do? Oh, no. Give me a pillow? What? Oh, a pillow. Oh. Well, how about you? Don't you like to sit on the floor? Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Why don't you like that? I will. <laughs> Take a pillow. <laughs> I can't hardly see you sitting all the way over there. I can see you. I know, but that's not fair. I'm in the limelight. <laughs> Good. Now I can see you. Comfortable? Yes. So am I. Comfortable as a cow. <laughs> will you have some gum? No, thank you. I think that I will indulge, with your permission. <laughs> Think of the fortune made by the guy that invented the first piece of chewing gum. Amazing, huh? The Wrigley Building is one of the sights of Chicago. I saw it the summer before last when I went up to the Century of Progress. Did you take in the Century of Progress? No, I didn't. Well, it is quite a wonderful exposition. What impressed me most was the Hall of Science. Gives you an idea of what the future will be like in America. Even more wonderful than the present time is. Your brother tells me that you're shy. Is that right, Laura? I don't know. <laughs> I judge you to be an old-fashioned type of girl. Well, I think that's a pretty good type to be. Hope you don't think I'm being too personal, do you? Uh, I believe I will take a piece of gum, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Connor, have you kept up with your singing? Singing? Me? Yes. I remember what a beautiful voice you had. When did you hear me sing? You say you've heard me sing? Oh, yes. Yes, very often. I don't suppose you, you remember me a at all. Well, you know, I have an idea I've seen you before. Oh, I had that idea as soon as you opened the door. It seemed almost like I was about to remember your name, but then the name that I was about to call you wasn't a name. And so I stopped myself before I said it. Wasn't it Blue Roses? Blue Roses. <laughs> my gosh, yes, Blue Roses. That's what I had on my tongue when you opened the door. Wasn't it funny what Tracer memory plays? I didn't connect you with high school somehow or other. But that's where it was, it was high school. I didn't even know you were Shakespeare's sister. Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't expect him to. You barely knew me. But we did have a speaking acquaintance, huh? Yes, we spoke to each other. When did you recognize me? Oh, right away. As soon as I came in the door? When I heard your name, I thought it was probably you. 
I, I knew that Tom used to know you a little in high school. So when you came in the door, well, then I was uh, sure. Why didn't you say something then? I, I didn't know what to say. I was t too surprised. For goodness sakes. You know, the sure is funny. Yes. Yeah. Yes, isn't it? So, didn't we have class together in something? Uh, yes, we did. What was that? It was singing, uh, of course. Ah. <laughs> I, I sat across the aisle and you and the odd. Ah. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now I remember. You always came in late. Yes, it, it was so hard for me getting upstairs. I, I had that brace on my leg. It was so loud. I never heard any pumping. To me, it sounded like thunder. Well, well, well. I never even noticed. And everybody was seated before I came in. I had to walk in front of all those people. My seat was in the back row. I had to go pumping all the way up the aisle with everyone watching. You shouldn't have been self-conscious. I know, but I was. It was always such a relief when the singing was done. Uh, guess I've placed you now. I used to call you Blue Roses. How was it that I got started calling you that? I was out of school a little while with the Roses. When I came back, you asked me what was the matter. I said I had the Roses. You thought I said Blue Roses. <laughs> That's what you always called me after that. I hope you didn't mind. Oh, no, no, no. I, I liked it. You see, I never had much luck at making friends. I don't see why you wouldn't. Well, I started out badly. You mean being? Yes, it sort of stood between me well, and... You shouldn't have let it. I know, but it did and... You were shy with people. I tried not to be, but never could. Overcome it? No, I, I, I never could. I guess being shy is something that you have to work out of kind of gradually. Yes, I, I guess it... Takes time. Yes! People are not so dreadful when you get to know them. But that's what you have to remember. And everybody has problems. Not just yourself, but practically everybody has some problems. You think of yourself as having the only problems. As being the only one who's disappointed. But just look around. And you will see lots of people as disappointed as you are. <laughs>